guys, it's Katya here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna be doing an unpackaging, but not one, but actually two. Initially I was only anticipating one package, which is hella special by itself and you're gonna see why. And then the UPS guy called me and he was like, Hey, I'll be there in 10 minutes and I have two packages for you. And I was like, did you say two? I have two packages here today. One was planned, this one was not planned, this is from Equigenera. I got lucky and I ordered two queens. There's never too many. So I ordered two queens back in April. I think it was in April, so it takes like roughly about a month or a month and a half for you to get your order. I was lucky to receive them because the site kept crashing and me and my friend also ordered some and I was like oh you know I'm gonna try let's see if I can get some and I did I got two queens so let's unbox them and see in the shape they are in so they come in very small box the Equa Genera tends to really pack closely their plants oh the packaging though look at that so we have this foam which is great for isolation thankfully the weather has been warm recently. Um, I'm impressed. Okay, so we have my receipt. Um, I ordered two Warakwianams. I think they are $85 each plus shipping to the little fee for Phyto and all that. I did pay for UPS Express or like Saver, which is the next day. So the plants are a bit damp because I can feel it through the paper. Just gonna take him out and we're gonna see. Whoa! I spilled all the package. Okay, so here they are. They're packaged in paper. So they came with a little plan text and the passwords. That's mandatory now for Europe here. So let's go and open them. And the thing with Equigenera is they tend to ship their plants like really wet and moist. So this is why you'll most likely get some sort of fungus issues, which, well, it's a risk, but it's, a, it's not expensive risk as much as if you were to like import it yourself. Okay, so this is the first girl. Ooh, she's super dark. She's not as big as some of the others I've seen going around, but she has super dark foliage, which is beautiful. She has three leaves. This is the biggest one, not that big. It's like 20 centimeters and a bit middle leaf and the youngest leaf. There is some mold on the toilet paper or the packaging. We're gonna see how these leaves are gonna react in the upcoming days, but the caterpillar seems fine and I'm I am curious about the roots, but I will check this later. Hopefully the second one is a bit bigger, because that'd be nice. I mean, the packaging is bigger. Okay, so this is the second one. She is much bigger than this girl but she is so pretty she reminds me of the queen that i have at least the lobes and all of that it seems like she's just pushing out a new leaf which could have unfurled during the shipping and we're gonna see if it makes it usually the leaves are not that fond of staying if, especially if they unfurl when they're still shipping but oh she is so pretty I initially bought this to you to sell, but I think this one will be staying with me for sure. And we're gonna see about it new leaf. Oh my god, it would have been so pretty. Maybe it makes it. We're gonna see. And she has a really thick chunk, as you can see here. Hopefully the roots are good. I do really hope, but oh my god. Stunning. So glad that I ordered. So yeah, they're gonna get some TLC because it is needed. They are imports, but hopefully they're gonna be okay. At least the leaves look good. There's no cold damage. So um, yeah, I'll keep you posted on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me. And now to the, the most exciting part about this. This is the plant me and my boyfriend bought together and we've discussed getting it like one day before. And on Monday I go on Facebook and I see a listing for this plant and it was going for a really decent price. 
considering these guys can fetch higher prices. Now, I know they got popular lately and a lot of people have them and their prices have dropped, but I don't mind that because when you can sell a thing for 100 euros, you're still in it. So, you're gonna know soon what I'm talking about. So this plant came from Sweden from a very lovely lady. She was very helpful and her packaging was really good. So this is how it is. We have some paper in here. And okay, so I think this is a heating pack. This is the plant and just this. I don't know, here is here is the heating pack. So this is the second plant. Let me get them out. So this was the first. So this was a gift. She gifted me a baby Monstera Sultipicana. Sultipicana. So I've always wanted one, never bought it. So it's really nice of her to gift it. Oh my god, the packaging though. Can you just? It's packaged in a pot, stick to a side so the leaf doesn't get smashed. So it's a baby Silta Picana. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but we can grow her and see how she does. Again, packaging, top notch. And this is the main reason. Now, this technique of packaging is freaking amazing. You put a plant inside of a water bottle, which you cut at the top or the bottom or whatever, and then you stick it up together. So you can't really squish it because, you know, delivery guys can be a bit harsh sometimes and it just protects the plant really well. So now I need scissors. Oh, that was dangerous. We got it. So. That's a long sushi roll though. Okay, so we meet our variegated and Sony. Oh, she is super pretty. Okay, so this is a top cutting. It's a really top cutting. She's been cut back in February and she has a good root system at least. On the pictures, I do, will have to unpack her to see what's the deal with it, but can we just... She is so pretty. This is the biggest leaf, this is the smaller one. I know it's very white, but the petiolar sheet is looking nicely colored, so we're gonna see how that goes. Ah! Super nice. So she's been in shipping for one day and she looks super good. We're gonna see how she grows and adapt. Hopefully she won't be giving me too much of stress and anxiety, but yeah, happy growing. So this was it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next time. Bye.